you are doing super well tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Tonight's video is sponsored by Raycon. Lately, in addition to my ASMR videos, I've been working on music, which a few of you know about. So I'm extremely excited to be partnering with Raycon for this video. Raycon is changing up the electronics industry with their wireless earbuds by producing amazing sound for everyone, starting at just half the price of other premium audio brands. With a sleek, compact design, Raycon earbuds sit comfortably in your ears with a variety of fit options. Their seamless Bluetooth pairing and noise isolation give you six hours of playtime. Raycon offers a beautiful range of colors and patterns. I got the blue ones and I think that they are just beautiful. I love them so much and as you can see there are no stems or dangling wires. They're super discreet in your ears. Raycon has a 45 day free return policy so you really can't go wrong. Raycon was co-founded by Ray J. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg, J.R. Smith, Rich the Kid, and Mike Tyson are absolutely obsessed with Raycons, as am I. This summer, I'm going to be working on not only my ASMR videos, but also my music with my co-producers. And my Raycons are definitely going to be helping me out with that. They also have more bass which is amazing when listening back to beats so I can have a more full sound. I'm also going to be getting some for my stepdad for Father's Day this year. Uh, they're a perfect gift, so I know he's going to love them. If you're interested in getting your own pair or gifting some to someone who you know loves Raycons, you can click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash busybee and get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video, and let's get right into it. Hi. So it seems you've come to have your
it's important that we pay attention to our emotional needs and I'm just grabbing this one right here it's a pretty good one but all these negative thoughts that you've got you know um, <sighs> um don't um, it helps to not carry them around in your head like, like all of these here that we're going to be removing it helps to when they come into your head, just, it's okay to acknowledge them and observe them, but don't let them take over the forefront of your mind. Um, observe them and let them go, um, in one ear, out the other, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the same way we can do it to, you know, some people who, you know, uh, they might be a negative, uh, source of energy and, you know, kind of just think, okay, you know what, whatever they're gonna say, I'm just gonna not even think about it. It's the same thing with your own thoughts. Um, if you have um, some thoughts in here that are really just dragging you down, give them that, uh, you know, cold shoulder, if you will, like you would with a real person who's telling you these things. I mean, think if your negative thoughts were a real person standing in front of you saying these things to you, you wouldn't want to listen to that, right? You would just go, whatever, I don't, I don't want to listen. Same thing to these negative thoughts. Don't let them take over your mind. Most of the time they are not true, and I think it is important to remember that every time we remember something from our past that bothers us, um, you know, whether it be an embarrassing thing, you know, it's just something that makes you cringe. Uh, I, I have those moments too. Um, but, you know, if it's something that I've been in class a long time ago and you think about it and go, oh my god, I can't believe I did that, I can guarantee you nobody else remembers that one thing because they're thinking of that time they did something else. You know, everyone is so preoccupied with themselves and so anxious and worried about themselves that if you think, you know, oh, everybody thinks this about me or everybody thinks that about me, most of the time it is it's just not true. 
has uh, separation anxiety, and so anytime he can get, he's right here. Okay, just give me one second. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. I uh, I told you he has separation anxiety, but uh, he's a good boy. But anyway. yourself that you're bad at it, you're going to be bad at it most likely, um, but you tell yourself, you know what, I can get better, I can learn this, I can do this, I can improve, you don't have to say, I'm the best at this, I am a, I'm a genius at this, but uh, you, you can encourage yourself to uh, feeling more positive when it comes to that specific topic, whatever it may be. And this is all just from experience, from personal experience. It does not uh, necessarily apply to everybody, but I am always happy to share the things that work for me, that work for people that I have uh, spoken to about these kinds of things, um, and offer um, my insight that's all I can really do, you know? Um, let's just do what I know works for me, uh, share it, and hope that it works for somebody else out there. Um, but regardless, I'm grateful for the interactions that I get to have. Um, it's something that I think about many times throughout the day, and, like, every single day. Um, so, I just want to thank you again for being here. It means, it means a lot to me. It means a lot more than you know. Um, but, 
say, you know, I know it can be hard. I know it can be hard. Um, like I said, I, I may not know exactly what you're going through. Um, and I'll never pretend to. Um, just like, you know, I've gone through my fair share of stuff, but I'll never pretend like I've had a terrible life or anything like that because I've, I've actually had a really wonderful life. Um, you know, just some things here and there and life happens. Um, but even still, it's really just how you respond to it. I, I like to think that, you know, um, I could have responded so much better to so many things in my life and, um, but regardless of that, I know I can't go back and change the past and I can't fix anything that has happened, but I can learn from it and that is something that I'm grateful for every day because, um, the path that I took may have been rocky at times, but it got me here to this moment in time right now talking to you about this. And so I just want you to know that everything happens for a reason. Um, and do appreciate everything. I said it.